Well, welcome to my vlog. How's everybody doing? Well, I hope you're doing okay. But today's another great day. So let's go out and explore. All right. Welcome to my vlog, everybody. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning to all. How's everyone doing? Wow, oh, we're just over the hump this week. It's Thursday, right? No, wait a minute. It's Wednesday. Oh, wow. It's great to be out. Although the weather is not too good. Look at it. Oh, it's overcast. Look like it's gonna rain. Oh man, oh man. Now, I guess we do need the rain. But look at the freeway. It's full of really lousy drivers. Look at these big rigs. I think the cops, oh, highway patrol, try to get these trucks that are driving too fast. They're not supposed to be going more than 50 miles an hour, but look at these trucks. This one guy, he saw the cops, he slowed down. You should, you dumbass. Should be driving fast on the freeway. There's a reason why drivers and the big rigs are not supposed to be driving that fast. And I was a big rig driver. Because you have difficulty controlling your car or truck. Especially if you're hauling a lot of stuff in the back of your trailer. And that's the reason why these big rigs are not supposed to be driving too fast. Blues control, especially the way other drivers are driving. Got to be afraid of losing control and crashing and causing a major catastrophe on the freeway. Because once these big rigs flip over, that's it. The whole, whole freeway is closed down. It happens all the time. Because of these big rig drivers, they're driving too fast. They can't slow down when something happens on the freeway. They lose control and they shut down the freeway for hours, sometimes the whole day. Especially when you have some of these truck drivers who have trailers full of products or whatever. They, the doors open up in the back and all these things fall out. Or then you have a lot of these trucks that are carrying caustic chemicals so you can't just clean it up in a few hours you got to have a hazardous team out there oh my god look at these people here blocking traffic but of course you know why because they're gonna go to the marijuana place get some dope that's what we call these people dope because half of them you know they're just dope yeah, marijuana. Here's another stupid guy. He was driving erratically. This white car right here. He was cutting in and out of traffic earlier. Stupid guy. And he's got an expensive car. Well, that's what happens. Well, you have people with expensive... What is this? A Land Rover? Well, you know, Land Rover went down in quality. They're not, a, they're not such a great car anymore. Somebody bought them out. I forget which uh, person. Is it India? Bought Land Rover? If it was the Indians or whoever they were, they were doing okay in the beginning, but now they are just garbage, junk quality of those cars. And you know, you, you supposedly, with the, for years, Land Rover has been a really popular very popular vehicle and it's of good quality but now I think it's I think for sure I think the Indians bought it you know the Indian people have a lot of money I gotta give these Indian people credit they are smart and I'm not saying all Indians are are bad or uh, I don't really have a too much to say about them but 
in the few instances that I've encountered, especially when I worked in a dealership, some of these Indian people are rude. You know, in India, they have a class system. So if you're rich, they associate with rich and you're poor. They don't want to have anything to do with you. They really don't care. They regard you, if you're not of their social stature or financial stature, they don't want anything to do with you. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that they don't ha even have a middle class out there. It's just rich and poor. And if you've ever seen some of these vloggers, they've gone to India. Wow, it's kind of scary. You see mostly men out on the street. Where are the women? Are they not allowed to go out in public? It's kind of weird. It's almost like the um, in, middle, in the Middle East. I think it's Saudi Arabia or Syria or... What country was that? In Palis, Palis, the Palestinians? Women are not, not allowed to go out unless they have a... Somebody accompany them, like a, I don't know what they call that. Somebody that uh, basically is their handler. Somebody that tells them what to do, where to go. It's almost like a bodyguard. That's weird. How would you like to live that way when your, your whole life is being controlled? Oh, yeah, I remember watching a video of this. Uh... Oh, yeah, there was this one video I saw. Of this uh, young girl from Saudi and she just wanted to leave and her family wouldn't allow it I mean they control everything she did who she who, who she meets who she talks to who she associates her she couldn't have a career I mean this was her family her father and and her uncles would beat her when she disobeyed now this woman was educated. She had, she had brains. Just imagine, you know, you're, you have a, you're really smart, and then your whole family won't even let you uh, fulfill any of your career dreams. They want to control you. They even want to set you up with a marriage, set you up and let you marry some complete stranger that you don't even know. Man, what kind of, what kind of people are? People do stuff like that. So anyway, the story is, she took a plane. She finally was able to get away from her parents and her handler. She bought a ticket and she flew to, uh, what was it, Thailand. And she wanted to proceed from Thailand to Australia. Um, when, but when she got to Thailand, for some reason, her family discovered she had taken off and ran away. That they reported her as a runaway to the Thailand government. And the Thailand government would not allow her to leave Thailand for Australia. They really prevented her from leaving. Now, I mean, this girl, she's an adult. She has her own mind and body. She's not some illegitimate or illegal person or a bad person. She didn't commit any crime. So what's the deal? She had a legitimate ticket. She had a passport. And yet, oh, I guess there's one thing I forgot to mention that this girl was from a royal family the royal family of Saudi Arabia have you heard of that have you have you seen that video of the king of Saudi Arabia whose wife incidentally left him also and ran to Europe to escape all of this tyranny and all this mental and physical abuse by the the uh, king of Saudi Arabia now, mind you that Saudi is an ally of the United States and a good friend of a lot of the politicians in our country. Um, yet, his own wife, 
and child ran away. Man, it was big news. It was all over YouTube. And when she got to Thailand, anyway, getting back to the story, she got back to Thailand. And when she got back to Thailand, the Thailand authorities would not let her leave. They were going to deport her back to Saudi. Oh, man. How can you do that? How can you prevent somebody who has a valid passport and a ticket and detain them? Because some government said that she shouldn't be allowed to leave. She was obviously an adult, but they prevented her from leaving. So what she did was she rebelled and she locked herself in her, in her hotel room. And they had a guard outside her door to make sure that she would leave. But when it was time for her to get deported back, her uncle arrived from Saudi to take her back. She barricaded the door and she wouldn't let anybody in. And she was telling everyone, especially some of the immigration officers and her uncle, that I want to apply for political asylum. For the mental, mental and physical abuse by my family, and she was, she was crying and asking them to uh, please allow her to leave. Otherwise, if they didn't, she was gonna die. They were gonna kill her. And you know what? That's what happens in those countries. It happens in those Middle Eastern countries. If you disobey your parents or family, they will stone you to death. What kind of people is that? Your own daughter. Well, she barricaded and asked for political asylum. And this just kept going back and forth for weeks. She was holed up into that hotel room. And luckily she had somebody that was with her. An American, I guess it was. Uh, some person that was in the State Department. Either that or some kind of, she wasn't, maybe not, maybe this person that was with her was uh, one of those persons that were sympathetic to her plight, Sympathet sympathetic to what was going on. So she wasn't alone. That's what it was. And I think this person was involved in human trafficking. So she was trying to help this uh, poor lady from Saudi to get out. And so she was begging for... Uh, the uh, political asylum and so she refused so she went viral on YouTube and on social media it, it got word to oh, a lot of the, the newspapers people were outraged people were yelling and screaming at her that what are you doing you can't do this to her and I think a few months after all of that stuff got publicized in the news the government finally granted her political asylum. And I don't know the, 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 the other details of the story. I think when she um, asked to leave Thailand and go to Australia, because Australia is one of those countries that has been sympathetic to those people who are come from Saudi. And I think the ambassador came to Thailand and talked to talked to her and tried to get some more information. They found out that she had proper documents to leave and go to Australia. They finally agreed to give her political asylum too. So I'm not exactly what happened. I did follow up and watch the other videos and what her story was. But can you imagine all the the the, uh, the 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 drama and the pain and suffering that she had to go through just to get away from people and her family who wanted to destroy and kill her? And here in America, we have de democracy, and freedom of religion, and nobody could tell us what to do. Unfortunately, we are in that situation now where there are people that are trying to tell us what to do and we can't allow that and man I saw I saw the video I think it was over an hour long and you could just see what she was going through she was 
describing in detail what her father would beat her and her brother would beat her and her uncle would threaten her and threaten her with death and stoning if she didn't listen to her family it was terrible so we should be thankful we have that freedom here but people here in America they don't give us a rat's ass about this freedom they, they feel as though that they can tell us what to do and knowing that they can't get away with it in some instances we have that freedom we should be lucky yet we have all these people out there especially all of these politicians they want to control you that's how they do it through fear they scare you to believe this and that that if you don't believe it someone's gonna die you're gonna kill somebody it's gonna be ca catastrophic oh my god you gotta watch that video okay I'm gonna try to get the link on that and I want you to see it because I was very much moved by watching that but it's evening time and I thought I'd go do some errands this morning decided to uh, stop by and see the folks at some time off at the Anyway, we'll be back. We're going to talk more about this in a, in a little bit, so stay tuned. All right. All right. That's the end of today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe this video. And please hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the video. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Zombie Apocalypse.